There's two forms of hyperhidrosis. There's primary hyperhidrosis and secondary hyperhidrosis. Secondary hyperhidrosis is hyperhidrosis secondary to some kind of underlying medical condition or some sort of medication as a side effect from it. As a physician, when somebody comes in in taking their history, I'm going to try to see, is there anything in their medical history or in their recent history that may be clues to saying there may be some other cause? Have they started a new medication? Have they had some other symptoms that may be tied into that hyperhidrosis and so that's those are the questions that a physician is going to ask to to try to determine whether it's primary and secondary if they do decide that there may be a external cause or a secondary cause to it then it's that physician's job to then try to f determine what that cause is and if they themselves cannot then to refer to the appropriate specialty to figure that out. Is it a GI problem? Is it an endocrine problem? Is it a cardiology problem? Those are certain examples that we could use and that's where physicians would make that secondary referral to work that up. I think the two kind of the more common ones one would think about are sometimes there are certain endocrine disorders that could do it. And, and then menopause is something that all women go through at some point in their life. And everyone knows about hot flashes and sweating kind of goes along with that hot flashes. And so that kind of ties back into the endocrine sort of thing because it is a hormonal change that's kind of going on. And so that usually is the big umbrella under which a lot of people look at for secondary hyperhidrosis.